Hello everybody, welcome to Marcy's Makeup Corner tonight at 9 o'clock. Um, you guys know the drill if you're watching me for the first time ever, hashtag newbie. If you've watched me before, hashtag lifer. And if you're watching on the replay, hashtag replay. Okay, so, sorry I like was in the middle of doing dishes and I'm like, ah, I gotta go live. So I'm like, dish towel, cleaning, mom life, right? So tonight we are going to play with the Sharpie because it's fun. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm really going to show you guys the amazing coverage of our Liquid Touch Foundation. Okay, so I'm going to be mix mixing foundation with concealer for this look. Um, so the entirety of this month, I swear to you, there is going to be so much foundation and concealer and primer and all that stuff blowing up on my Facebook because I have 10 kudos sets to sell, 10 of them. 10 of them and I get a free gorgeous purple robe thing so excited so that is my goal if you want to help me out with my goal that would be fantastic let me know um, and I can hook you up with some freaking amazing products so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my sharpie hey Mandy and I am like I don't even really need the help because I am breaking out like a mad woman right now no idea why but we are gonna start and uh, we're gonna take the Sharpie and we're just, I'm just gonna draw stuff. So like I was looking at like comic book character stuff before and I've done like comic book character makeup. So I'm like doing like, I don't know, weird, weird designy things here. What else? Comic book character makeup. They always have like this tear thing going on right here. I'm gonna kind of draw that. Okay, Sharpie near the eyeball is maybe not the best thing in the world to do. I do some Sharpie there. Where else we want to add Sharpie? We'll do some Sharpie jawline. Let's create a jaw. Do, do, do. Just like that. Sharpies are awesome. Um, what else? Let's do some forehead. Some forehead lines. I'm just going to do some random dots. Okay, so. Like, no word of a lie, guys. It smells really bad. Whew. Sharpie. Okay, Sharpie on the face. That's what we just did. We totally just did that. Now what I'm going to do is show you how amazing our foundation is, okay? So if you are looking to cover up like acne, rosacea, if you decide to randomly put Sharpie on your face, this is the stuff that you got to have. So I'm going to start with a foundation. Now what I do is you want to make sure that you shake it up really nicely. It is a very natural product, so it will separate. Now... In this set, you also get to pick uh, your choice of brush. I do not have the liquid foundation brush on me because all of the bristles fell out because, uh, well, my daughter's really hard on stuff. Let's just say she's 14 years old. She likes her makeup. Little hard on my brush. So I'm going to be using a blush brush instead. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply take five drops of this magic stuff. One, two, three, four, five. Hey Cheryl! And what I usually do is I usually apply my foundation and my concealer separately. But if you want super, super flawless matte coverage, and let's say that you're covering up a lot of marks, you want to add your concealer in with your foundation. So I'm going to take my concealer and kind of do one, two, like little teeny drops, three, four, five in and around with my foundation, okay? So that's what I'm gonna start with. If I need extra coverage, I can always add it, but that is where I'm gonna start. You've never seen this done before? Cool! First time for everything, my friend. So, I'm gonna take my foundation. I've actually never done this before. So, like I said, I'm gonna take my foundation and my concealer and I am going to start covering. And all we're going to do is we are really going to work on blending some of this in. You got the Sharpie out again, didn't you? I did get the Sharpie out. James is like, oh my god, you got the Sharpie out. I totally did. I've never done it. I've seen it done before. Hey, Lucy. However, like I said, I may need to add a little bit more concealer because this is how much concealer I would normally add if I was just doing my face normally. So, because now I've added like random blemishes 
in the form of a black Sharpie marker because, you know, apparently I'm going to take the form of, of black breakouts. Yeah, I'm totally running out of product a little bit here, but that is fine. Like I said, if you have massive stuff that you got to cover, I'm going to show you how to cover it. So we are just going to take our foundation. See, look at I'm getting not too bad coverage. It's totally permanent marker. It's a Sharpie. Totally a Sharpie crystal. But what we're going to do is we are going to take that foundation. Look at that. And we are just working that in. So what I'm doing is I am just blending it. Blending it all over my face. I'm going to have to add a little bit more to my jaw, jawline, cheek line. But all I'm doing is I'm taking that foundation and concealer. You need to see the Dr. Pimple Pop. <laughs> right? And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of my um, taffeta foundation and my concealer to my next go. So I've done kind of one coat. This is my organza color. This is making me look super pale. I think I have picked up a little bit of sun. So let's jump to a slightly darker color. We're going to go in for round two. Like I said, if you have really problem skin, you might have to add a little bit of extra product. However, nobody's skin is as bad as black permanent marker. I'm just saying. It can't possibly be as bad as black Sharpie marker on your face. So all I'm doing right now is I'm adding a little bit of a darker foundation. And I only did three drops this time because I'm mostly just working on my chin area. However, I kind of decided to spread it all over the place. So we want to make sure that we're really, really working in that foundation. Because believe it or not, your skin is not a solid, flat surface, right? It's just not. You have pores and you have lines. And so what you're doing when you're moving this around, and it does work better with the liquid foundation brush, just the way that it's shaped, is when you're moving it around, you're getting all sides of your skin cells, all around, all those wrinkles, everything else that you've got going on. And you're covering all of it. He said, look at that. That is like almost totally, totally covered. And we're really just working. Yeah, I didn't add quite enough onto this line. This is my darkest line here was over here. But we're just going to keep circling that foundation over top to blend it on. Anyways, what do you think, guys? Crazy, right, Cheryl? Like it's gone. Like that black Sharpie marker that was on here, totally totally covered by the foundation by the foundation and the concealer hey Lizanne we just covered you just missed it we just covered Sharpie marker on my face with foundation and concealer there's still a teeny little line here but I went pretty heavy with the black marker but it's gone now I, before I let you guys go I'm gonna show you one more quick trip because I gotta do this tonight anyways I'm going to take a shine wipe. You guys have seen me do this before. Shine wipe cleansing cloths. These things are amazing. It's like a treatment for your face because it contains vitamin E. It contains sunflower and olive oil. Um, it is absolutely fantastic. And if you forget to take, check this out, the makeup off your face. Look at that. Sharpie is gone. Foundation is gone. Check that out out all of it just super simple one shine wipe look at the craziness mind blown right loose just just go uh, no she needs a bottle sorry guys baby's crying check that out one cloth Marker gone, foundation gone, and that foundation 
covered that crazy Sharpie marker. So I have nine more sets to sell this month of the foundation. If you are interested at all, please just drop a comment below, send me a quick PM. As soon as I sell those nine sets, those first 10 people are in for one heck of a special surprise. Um, but yeah, if you are interested, like I said, drop a quick comment below and I will, uh, I will get in contact with you. If you need a color match, just let me know. All right, guys, have a fantastic evening. I will see you tomorrow night, nine o'clock. Bye, guys.